up, stay, stay, stay there. <laughs> this is our first video, and I hope you guys learned something from this content. Real life language in Korea. being unable to identify those meanings at first. So today, we would like to introduce you to some of the ethnic language in Korea. First of all, we will talk about some expressions such as 기억기억, 일명, 기억기억, 리을명, 미음지극, 기억시오. Sayong, did you know that Korean language has a very unique feature that cannot be found in any other country? Well, I don't know exactly, but I've heard that Korean is the one and only language that can be written in three phonemes as one word. Right, you are correct. The first phoneme of the words are the basic foundational structure of these expressions, hyok, hyok, yunim, and etc. From now on, try to only focus on the first phoneme of the words, which I'm gonna introduce to you. I'll give you one example. Google, this is the word for kyok kyok. As you can see, kyok kyok only took the first meanings of the word Google. So basically, Google means go go, which is English written in Korean. It means let's go or try on. Likewise, ilyo stands for unu or un, which is yes in Korean. Ah, I've seen people using ilyo to say yes, which means unu in Korean agreements about others' verbalness or body gestures. Yes, exactly. Liu means leal or leo. It is mostly used as an emphasis, such as indeed, very, or really. Sometimes it is used as an interrogative sentence, usually asking in return. At other times, you can use it to check if the previous speaker's statement was real or not. For example, if someone says something to you, you can re-ask them, Lea? and it's to check if they said something real. There are countless expressions using this feature, but these expressions, which I'm going to introduce from now, are what you must know when chatting with Korean teens. Kyokshio means comes up, and this means thank you. On the other hand, Chiyokshio means chuezong, and it means I'm sorry. Nian means no no. Kyokyo is identical to LOL, laughing out loud, so it's a sound of laughter. Kyokyo is an interrogative sentence asking someone, where are you? It is made up with the first phoneme of the words, odi, which means interrogative comments, where? In the chatting scene you've seen just before, it was used as the meaning of, where are you? Wow, it's really fresh! But I would like to show you even more creative expressions that Korean teens make. For real? That makes me really expectant. What are they? English expressions? What do they have to do with Korean culture? Well, you may not be aware of it, but there are a lot of relationships between English expressions and Korean teen culture. Korean people enjoy using English in their lives and know. Accordingly, there are a variety of loan words that originated from English. But the thing is, those words are not used in Anglosphere regions for real. And therefore, they have nothing to do with the Anglosphere cultures. That is, the words are written in English, but only exist in Korea. Hmm then it's not meaningful to use them to foreigners. You're right, it's not that meaningful. I will especially talk about two expressions that teenagers use. Do you know what pink means? No! It stems from finger pieces. Koreans like to talk in short syllable, so they usually shorten the word by using the first syllable. In other words, the word pink is a combination of pink from finger and poo from princess. Mm, 
finger princess? What does it mean? I don't get it. Think about the good works in school. Imagine there are some teammates who don't make any efforts by themselves and put their work on others. They do not like to move their fingers to research and type on the keyboard. This word is used to call people like them who don't search for data by themselves. Aha! Now I get it! Another example is TNT, which is an abbreviation of too much talker. We use this word to a person who talks too much or likes to give a lot of endless information that others don't have to know. Wow, it's really similar to TMI, which means too much information. But the point that it's not used in Anglosphere cultures is very interesting. These are examples of expressions that Korean teenagers kind of dramatize English on their own. Even though the letters are in English, I think the usage and development of the letter are based on the country and its culture. That's true. And I just thought of one more unique aspect of Korean language. What's new? Dodo. <laughs> we can replace the word with the letter which has a similar shape with the previous one. There is not even a single word that resembles neutrally in other countries. Think of it, is there any? Mm, I guess not. That's correct. And that makes it impossible for those in other countries to play with the word freely. However, in Korea, we can utilize the shape freely because there are a lot of words that resemble mutually, so we can replace the words with other letters. So, Koreans use this feature as humor sources or slang. It's too vague. Just show us. Okay. <laughs> I would like to explain basic information for your understanding. There are two kinds of phoneme in Hangul, and those are divided into vowel and consonant. Consonants are made of various shapes, including circles and squares. For example, there are kyok, nyun, and tigun. They are used in initial and final phoneme. On the other hand, these vowels are necessary phonemes, which are used in the central position. These vowels all look the same or similar because they use vertical or horizontal lines to make a shape. Let me now show you one example of Yamingjongun. Look at the word here, which is Myeongja. This means masterpiece. When the consultant Myeong and Vao Ya made of two horizontal lines and one vertical line crossing down right next to it meet, the two look as if the consultant Sangdigud and Vao E exist together. Therefore, many Koreans replace the word Myeongja with Dingja using the optical illusion that makes the two words alike. So in real life, most of teenagers call some movie or music that is considered a masterpiece as Dingja. In the same way, we call poppies Dengdengi, which is Mongmongi originally. This culture, Yamingjongum, started from baseball community in Korea, and baseball is Yagu in Korean. Plus, the book that first introduced Hangul is named Hunminjongum. So we can infer it that the term Yaminjongum for this culture came from the combination of Huminjongum and Yagu. This Yaminjongum is a perfect example that shows that Hangul is preceded by exhaustive contemplation. It includes a sophisticated linguistic principles based on science. Wow, I could totally feel it! Now I understand why Hangul is considered the most developed language in the world. I'm so glad that you have felt that, and I hope you guys also felt something and learned something from what I have explained. Okay, now we only have one thing left. Something's left? I can't wait to listen. Now, it is a last topic. We'll talk about neologisms that are popular among Korean students. These expressions show Korean students studying and leisure culture. First one is about studying culture. Korean students say 
when they study really hard. Besides, when they go to academies, it is common to have meals alone. And that culture is called Hombak. Ah, I know one, Ska. You're correct. There are many study cafes in Korea where students visit to study. Like what you've mentioned, they are called Ska. Maybe you can think, why the students don't study in their house? It is because some students like to study in other places, and also they want to give changes to their studying habit to enhance their concentration than before. Lots of students in Korea study very hard for their dream college. However, studying is such a tiring activity that is not entertaining at all. It results in some students sleeping, playing on their phones, and spending time meaninglessly. When they don't spend their time profitably, they feel sort of a regret, and that feeling is called hyunpa, which means a time for realizing reality and being a wise man for a moment. Oh, that's just like me after playing the whole day. Yeah, it's a natural phenomenon to regret after having fun ignoring the works you have to do. During Hyun Pop, students lose their will and are distracted. It might be a little bit hard to understand the feeling of Hyun Pop, so we would like to act in real. Done. Now, enjoy the scene! watching our video. Bye! Bye.